So the Pixel 7s only came out just one month ago, but we already have a good number of leaks on both the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro. So here are three of the biggest leaks alongside reasons for you to consider waiting for the Pixel 8 and then reasons for you to just get the Pixel 7s instead. So the first leak comes from 91 Mobiles who have actually been very accurate in the past and this is an exclusive report featuring an upcoming Google phone codenamed the Google G10. Oh, okay, so the Pixel 7a, right? As that's the next phone that Google will be releasing. Well, not quite, because the resolution of this display is apparently 3120 by 1440, which is the same exact resolution as on the Pixel 7 Pro. Whereas the Pixel 7a would have had a 1080p panel, it being a mid-range device. Now, interesting enough, the G10 apparently uses Bowie as the display supplier, and then also Qualcomm for their under-the-display fingerprint reader. On top of this, developer Kuba found that this is actually a modified version of the Pixel 7 Pro. A Pixel 7 Pro essentially with a Qualcomm in-display fingerprint reader. And not just any fingerprint reader, but an ultrasonic one, which hints at the Pixel 8 Pro also getting a much faster fingerprint reader. As you probably know, the Pixel 7 Pro wasn't that much of an upgrade over the Pixel 6 Pro's fingerprint reader, uh, which was known to be quite slow. There's actually not a lot of smartphones that use uh, an under-the-display ultrasonic fingerprint reader. Samsung is one of the fewest, uh, and I gotta say, on Samsung phones, it is pretty fast. You also don't get that light glow that you get with optical fingerprint readers. Uh, so personally, I do prefer ultrasonic. It is more expensive to manufacture but it looks like Google wants to use this in the 8 Pro, which is some great news. Okay, the second leak comes from Win Future, and they claim to have discovered two more upcoming Pixel phones, codenamed Shiba and Husky. And keep in mind, these are different from the G10 and also different from uh, the foldable Pixel, the Pixel Fold, which is codenamed Passport. By the way, we have done a separate video just on that, which you can watch right after this video. Okay, so taking a look at uh, the Shiba, not Ren, but you know, the, the codename for the upcoming Pixel phone, and the resolution is said to be 2268 by 1080, which is essentially full HD. So this looks to be, indeed, that Pixel 7a. Or, if not, uh, then it would be the regular Pixel 8, as that one too would have a full HD panel. And then Husky has a resolution of 2822 by 1334. Interesting enough, this is actually lower than what we have on the Pixel 7 Pro, but much higher than what we have on the Pixel 7, which is 2400 by 1080. So this is likely the Pixel 8 Pro, but for some reason, it does have a lower resolution. So maybe, just maybe, it is because the display is actually smaller. Maybe Google has decided to make it more compact, or it could still be the same uh, size of 6.7 inches, but with just a lower resolution. And the thing is, if you take a look at a Pixel 7 Pro, that one has 512 pixels per inch. So it is a very, very sharp panel. Now, if we take that same sized panel and then we apply a resolution of 2822 by 1334, uh, I've actually calculated this and it will result to a 465 PPI, which is still very high. Uh, of course, not as high as the 512 on the Pixel 7 Pro, but higher than what we have on the Galaxy S22 Plus, for example. So you would still not be able to see any pixels on this panel. It would be very sharp and it could actually happen. You know, it would make sense for Google to reduce the cost uh, if, you know, the panel doesn't need to be that high res and then put those resources into other parts of the phone, like the camera, the battery, or maybe even pass down those costs uh, onto the consumer and lower the price of the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro. Now, the third leak also comes from Win Feature, and this is very interesting because this is all about the specs. So apparently both Shiba and Husky will be using a new chip codenamed Zuma, which is likely the Tensor G3. But what's really interesting here is that apparently this G3 uses the same modem as the Tensor G2. So it doesn't actually seem to be an entirely new chip. And on top of this, it is reported that it will be based on Samsung's Exynos 2300, uh, <laughs> which is interesting. In fact, uh, WinFuture actually claims that this will be a custom Exynos 2300 uh, with Google AI optimizations and machine learning optimizations. Yeah, this definitely won't be the fastest smartphone chip on the market when it launches, but at the same time, uh, Google's phones are already very well optimized and they just run very fluidly, so Google doesn't need uh, that much of a performer in the end. But where things get really interesting is when it comes to the RAM. So according to Win's future report, both Shiba and Husky will have 12 gigabytes of RAM, which essentially means that the Shiba is actually not the 7A. 
but instead the Shiba is the 8 and the Husky is the Pixel 8 Pro. Which begs the question, should you wait for the Pixel 8s or should you just get the 7s right now? Well, I've been using the 7 Pro uh, since it came out as my secondary device alongside my iPhone 14 Pro and I absolutely love it. So based on my experience, here are three reasons to get a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro right now and then three reasons to wait and get the 8 and the 8 Pro when they launch. So in terms of the reasons to get a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro right now, I would say the first one is definitely the camera. So I've taken loads of photos with my 7 Pro and I'm honestly so impressed by the quality. In almost all cases, the results from my Pixel 7 Pro were better than what I was getting from my iPhone 14 Pro. And keep in mind that a 14 Pro is significantly more expensive. Here in the UK, for example, it is 250 pounds more than the Pixel 7 Pro. Then the zoom level was almost as good as the S22 Ultra, which keep in mind that one has a 10x optical zoom compared to the 5x on the Pixel 7 Pro. But in terms of the actual results, the Pixel was very, very close to the Samsung. So yeah, when it comes to the camera, it is way above the S22 Ultra in terms of processing, sharpening even low light and I would say for regular photos uh, it is also way above the iPhone 14 Pro so I would actually call this the best smartphone camera on the market right now in terms of general photography and the cool thing here is that you don't actually need to get the Pixel 7 Pro you can also just go for the standard 7 because the main module is the same and you're only missing out on the telephoto and the improved ultrawide uh, which does have a macro mode but other than that the main sensor is the same uh, and this is way cheaper so in the US 900 is what the Pixel 7 Pro costs compared to 600 so 300 less on the regular Pixel 7 and you get the same flagship camera. A fun fact, you can actually switch between all lenses when recording 4K 60 video on the Pixels. You can actually do that on the iPhone or the Samsung or any other phone that I'm aware of. So yeah, camera wise, Pixels, so actually the 7 and the 7 Pro, these phones are awesome. Okay, the second reason to consider getting a 7 or 7 Pro right now is that there's nothing really missing. The performance is incredible. It never lagged on me even once. It was super fluid, very smooth. Uh, plus, you're also getting day one updates. I've had plenty of glitches on my iPhone 14 Pro, by the way, which have been widely reported. Uh, so I'm not just the only one having those issues. However, with the 7 Pro, I haven't had a single issue yet. On top of that, the haptics are amazing. The best ones on any phone that I've used. Uh, and then the battery life is really, really good as well. I can easily get one day of actual usage out of this. Uh, whereas my iPhone 14 Pro cannot get that. So this is better than my 14 Pro. Like I honestly cannot think of a single thing to complain when it comes to the Pixel 7 Pro. I'll say, okay, may maybe a smoother transition between the frame and the screen. Uh, I would have felt more premium that way, but other than that, there's nothing missing from this phone. And the third reason to get a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro right now is because you will have some great deals for the holidays and an even lower price than what they're already priced at. Amazon always has plenty of offers. Um, these phones are not in stock on the US Amazon for some reason, <laughs> uh, probably high demand, but in the UK they are in stock. For example, you can get a Pixel 7 for £563 compared to £600, which is what it costs normally. So yeah, do keep an eye for holiday offers as you will see some great deals on both of these phones. Okay, now three reasons to uh, probably wait for the Pixel 8. The first one is, of course, more RAM. So if you're interested in getting the Pixel 8 instead of the 8 Pro, as we've seen before in that Win feature leak, it is said to come with 12 gigabytes of RAM, which will not only make the phone run smoother and you'll be able to multitask way better, but it will also last you for longer in the long run. Then number two, an even better camera. If you don't need a Pixel right now or a new phone, uh, then the 8 would definitely have some camera improvements. Now we haven't really had any leaks on what these improvements could be. Maybe we will see a brand new sensor on the main camera. We haven't actually had that since the Pixel 6. The 6 and the 7 had the same main sensor. But any improvement to the already amazing camera would be very, very welcome. And number three, more future-proofing. Aside from the RAM, the G3 chip will likely have some unique Pixel-related features, as we've seen in the past uh, with Magic Eraser, Photo Unblur, and so on. Plus, you will also get one extra year of software updates. So basically, if you need a new phone right now and you can't afford a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, just go for it. You'll have some great deals for Christmas. If you don't need a phone right now or you just cannot afford a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro right now, uh, I would say you just wait for the 8th. But let me know in the comments your thoughts. I'm Daniel, Soon's Enough Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenough Tech, signing out. Peace.